Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this Flexit box that has a divider between the two. I just, if you didn't get to watch that video, you might want to back up and watch that video. I made this box that has a divider between it, and it's got two lids, uh, so you can keep little trinkets or give it to your granddaughter to keep stuff. So it's got a divider between it, making a little shelf, making the compartments separate. And in that video, I stated that I would show how to make it and box it to put this shelf. So I don't have an icon for box it. I have it under my macros, which is in tools, macro, macro manager, and box it's right there. So I had a four inch box. So I'm going to go four, and then I made my other box one inch. So now I have a four by one box. I'm going to go to box it because I've got it selected and press start. I'm going to, I've made my curve 0 0.001 or nine. I've got my material thickness is an eighth of an inch. My tab width, my box height is one inch. I've got, I'm using plugs, and you'll see that in just a second. Instead of lids, I'm going to have plugs. So we're going to hit go. And I do not need that anymore. I do not need that anymore, or this one, or this one. I do need this. So, and I need just one of these. Because this is going to be our shelf. And if you'll notice, it's .009. And my box is 0 .009. Even though it started out, it's adding in the curve. Okay, so we've got this piece. This is going to be our shelf. Don't really need it. Take these and go to arrange, break curve apart, and just select all these and control G for group. So we're grouped them together. Let's zoom in here and we need these plugs basically in the center of this box. And if you grab in the center and go to the center, it puts it right in the center. Now this is where you need to kind of pay attention. It is in the middle of the male next to the big one. So we need it in the middle of the female right here, these next tabs. So I'm going to group these two together, control G, I actually hit control D, I made a duplicate. And you kind of need to think about this for sure. We're on the male, so we need to be in the female for the shelf to work. And if you grab it in the midpoint and go to the midpoint, hold down the shift key and select it, go to arrange, align and distribute, and align vertically. It put my cutouts for my tab right in the middle. We do not need this anymore. And we do not need this one because we're going to double it and make it the same. So I'm going to control, well, I'm actually going to weld it. And then I'm going to go control D and make a duplicate. And then just for reassurance, what I would do is turn this to a 90 degree angle. And I would match it up with this to make sure you're, you did put your tabs in the right position. You can always grab it if you have snap to object. I'm not perfect and our curve's a little bit off, but you can see my tabs are on that plane. Let's change it back to zero. Put it here. You need two of these. We've got two of them. Let's zoom in here a little bit. And for a little bit of wood, let's just see how much we can get in here. Let's put these in it B and put it to the bottom. Whoop. I didn't have them grouped together. Whoop. Okay. And I need to make a duplicate of this. So I'm going to go control G for grouping and control D for make a duplicate of it. And it's because of this box is symmetrical and even, uh, the parts will be interchangeable. So let's just put it here. And you could put this here, but I'm going to just put it down here. 
So in the space of a wood that's just six and a half by eight and some change, you can cut out a pretty nice box. Now I suggest that you sand your wood before you put it together. This is birch plywood. And in sanding, it doesn't hurt your fit because your kerf is the fit from side to side. Uh, the reason you put in the 1.25 material so these joints won't stick out past the box. And even if they stick out a little bit, you could uh, sand it off. But if you like that look where you've got the dark wood and you've got the, the joints. Now this lid is really tight. It's, it's stretched out over here, you can see. You could adjust that a little bit. You know, move your mail tab in a little bit more. But you can see I've just got a little bit of overhang so you can pull that lid out. So this is flex it and box it. Uh, box it I've had for about 10 years probably, and I've used it a lot. It's incredible what you can do with it for making boxes. And I've got several videos on that. So go to their website. Look at their videos. They, the young man that does it does a really good job. And I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.